trainer of advanced audit assurance exam in this session we will going to discuss the question number 1 of march june 2021 exam right so straight away let's dive in uh, to the question right uh, section 1 comprises of uh, 50 marks scenario right and uh, in our first screen you can see the partners email which saying it is first july uh, it is first july you are manager in the audit department of the chief and a firm of chartered certified accountants you uh, you are assigned to the audit of pale company which has a financial year ending 30th september 2005 okay a uh, pale company manages timber plantations uh, its core business being the managing of timber plantations and the production and sale of uh, timber products it is not currently a listed entity and the following exhibits available on the left hand side of the screen provide information relevant to the question as you can see first one is a partner email second is a background information third is a note from meeting and key then fourth one is a key performance indicator and finally the note from the phone call okay requirement consists of 15 marks now straight away let's uh, dive in to the partners email right and here is the partner email which say to audit manager from harvey red versus audit engagement partner audit planning for pale company 1st july 2005 hello i have provided you with some information which should be used to help in your planning the audit of pale company for the financial year ending uh, 30th september 2005 as you know pale company is new audit plan of your firm i hope you are looking forward to working on this interesting new plan which is the first timber company we have secured as an audit plan you should also be aware that the management team is planning for the pale company to achieve a stock market listing within the next two years right okay we find out a uh, number of uh, detection risks over here and what are those firstly uh, you can see that the are uh, the new audit lines so that the detection that can be a detection risk uh, then they are planning to be listed in the uh, stock market in next two years that's another detection risk we found over here okay and the requirement evaluate the business risk to be considered in planning the audit of pale company and evaluate the audit risk to be considered in planning the audit of pale company right the next requirement as you can see design the audit procedures to be performed in relation to the change in fair value of the timber plantation as it caused by the recent storms your procedure should include those relating to evaluation of the expert appointed by the management and the work they have performed and finally using exhibit 5 explain the ethical issues and the other audit planning implications which arise in relation to the phone call from the company's chief executive officer mark york thank you okay so um firstly straight away we will move to the our uh word sheet okay and what i'll say simply it's our question number 1 briefing notes okay, sorry briefing notes and to arve rebus audit engagement partner from audit manager 
subject audit planning in relation to fail company date first july 2005 then we have introduction these briefing notes have been prepared to assist in planning the audit of pale company the notes begins with the with an evaluation of the business risk with the evaluation of the business risks and along with the evaluation of the audit risk which should be considered in planning the audit the notes also include the principal audit procedures which have been designed in respect of the change in fair value to the company timber plantation after a recent storm lastly the notes discuss some ethical and professional issues regarding sorry arising from a recent phone call with the company's chief finance officer cfo right which impact on our audit planning so far so good uh we just wrote the introduction and then first week we will discuss what we will discuss the audit risks those for business risk so uh we will move to the here pale company owns and manages several large timber uh, plantations apparently 5% of the trees are harvested each year the company immediately processes the timber which is harvested from pale trees and on uh, swam mills a facility where trees are processed into logs and other timber products okay the processed timber which is mainly logs and planks of wood is the sold to range of customers including con construction companies and furniture manufacturer approximately 30% of the uh, timber is exported your firm was appointed as the auditor to pale in march extra following the resignation of the previous auditor here associates as part of your firm client accept and procedures communication was received our associates indicated that their reason for resignation was due to retirement of the 
partner responsible for the audit and they had no issues to bring your attention regarding the audit pool pay company has a small internal audit department with two staff who reported to the company cfo as the company does not have an audit committee okay move on uh <clears throat> then mark your company confirm pay company applies the requirement of i41 blah 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 that's not uh, being uh, failed as the biological assets the failed to use the agriculture produce professional are the according with i2 inventory is a technical expert has come not related to business risk we just found our uh, international expansion can be our business risk okay not that see uh, pay company of operations are currently all based in its home jurisdictions however the board has recently approved the acquisition of several large areas of tropical rainforest in farland a remote development country expansion will allow the company to process new types of timber for which there is significant demand from luxury furniture manufacturers the acquisition of the areas of the rainforest uh, will cost 25 million and purchase is due to take place in august 2005 the cost of the dollar 25 million is equivalent to the fair value of the rain forest farland uses the same currency as pale company so the expansion is not creating any foreign exchange risk exposure to the company okay the purchase is being funded through a share issue to existing and new shareholder who are mainly member of the pale who established the company 20 years ago a share issue was only option for funding the international expansion as the company is at the limit of bank borrowing agreement that will be our another risk business risk international development agency has agreed to provide a grant of 20 million to assist plan in farland expansion on condition that the expansion represent sustainable and ethical business practice okay uh, the grant is provided specifically for training the local workforce and building accommodation for the workforce in a town near to the rainforest the grant uh, due to be received in september 2005 and relevant expenditure will commence in november 2005 mark your is planning to recognize half of the amount received as an income in the year financial on the basis that it will cover some of the management expenses in planning the international expansion okay uh, now what i will do simply move to the uh worksheet international expansion is my heading right international expansion we remember we will get maximum of the two marks for business risk the expansion into farland introduces a business risk in that the company will be managing operations in a foreign country for the first time farland is remote so it may be difficult for pale company management team management team to plan regular visits to the new operations so establishing robust management 
oversight and controls could be difficult right further additionally Parliament may have different laws and uh, regulations compared to the companies home jurisdiction. Home jurisdiction, so there is a heightened risk of non-compliance. Even the type of trees growing. in the rainforest will be different and management may not have experience in their harvesting processing and the sale of timber products all of this these may uh, uh, create a risk these issues create a risk that international expansion may not be may not be successful right uh, so far so good now what we'll do straight away we will move to the uh scenario again and look at the other business risk okay uh, gold let's move to the gold standard the company is proud to have recently been awarded an industry gold standard accreditation for its sustainable timber management to achieve the gold standard which de denotes the highest possible level of sustainable timber management and ethical business practice the company must adhere to number of strict standards this includes maintaining in the block uh biodiversity of the timber plantation ensuring and rare spices of trees are not harvested and that animal habitats within the timber plantation are preserved to maintain the gold standard accreditation one condition is that at least 80 percent of the timber sold must be harvested according to the strict standards set by the industry regulators the gold standard applies to all of the company's activities including the far land expansion okay so let's dive in and we find it about uh, let's drop about this one next heading gold standard accreditation There is a risk that the gold standard accreditation accreditation may not be rewarded with 
with implications and more specifically for the new contract with royal company which largely accounts for an increase of 5.5% in the company's revenue this year several of the key performance indicators of which need to be met to retain the gold standard seem to be in your party for example there has been a decline in the percentage of timber which is harvested in line with gold standard requirements and the project metric of 82% is only just above the required level of 80% okay uh in addition the gold standard is linked to ethical case being brought by employees and the state government official if uh, the old accreditation accreditation is lost royal company and other customers may cancel contracts which will result in a loss of revenue and cash flow right so um you might be wondering uh, that i have discussed about the couple of things which are not yet been uh, discussed with, as i have only read the limited scenario till now the kpis part is uh, present in the later part of the scenario uh, along with the you know the royal case uh, scenarios again the next para i have already uh, you know read the scenario before i'm uh, teaching it to you so i know it so that's why i wrote it for you uh, but you will uh, be more clear that how i drafted it when i 
will uh, proceed with the scenario. So uh, let's dive in and move forward and legal case uh, now contract with Royal Company. Uh, the company's revenue has increased this year largely due to the signing a significant contract with the new customer Royal Co. The contract was on, on the basis of pale company receiving the gold standard acquisition it's, uh, for its timber. See, uh, from here, I referred the Royal Company's uh, discussion in my previous part. Now the legal case. The group of employees recently commenced legal action against the company claiming that the breaches of health and safety guidance regulatory take place. The companies has made some redundancies this year, which put on the remaining staff to work harder in order to maintain productivity. This has caused an increase in the number of accidents at work. Of which have resigned the company's management and legal advisors will clear legal claim which justify and will not be successful. Mark York does not intend to recognize a provision for the claim or make any disclosure in the financial statement in relation to this issue as it is at such an early stage in the legal proceeding. So it has both scenarios involved in it. Uh, regarding business as well as the so we will look at the response and then uh, All right, so what we will say over here that legal action by company on, on employees legal action against the company by its own employees is a significant risk if the issue becomes public knowledge, there will be reputational problems, reputational problems, and the amount which is being claimed. $9.19 million. $19 million exceeds the company's cash balance. If the legal claim were to go against the company, it would struggle to find the funds to pay the damages given that it is already It 
it is already at the limit of it foreign arrangements. Situation also indicates could also indicate poor governance of the company if decisions are being made which for the, the lives of the employees at risk and result in days loss due to accident at risk. Uh, accident at work. Right, so that's it uh, for this part. Now, what we will do, we'll move uh, to the scenario and look at which other risk we can uh, consider over it. Which other <clears throat> use of expert change in fair value due to recent storms, uh, not so relevant than uh, Yeah, okay. Uh, move up, move up, move up. Use of experts change in value due to recent storms. Yes, uh, in the last month, several storms caused damage to some areas of timber plantation. An independent expert has appointed by management to de determine the extent of damage caused and quantity any financial implications, including determination of change in fair value of the stand increase which has been damaged by the storm. The experts report indicates a large number of trees have been completely destroyed, okay? And many have been badly valued, 17.5 billion should be recognized in respect of the timber plantation asset recognized in the statement of financial position. The information in the table below is annual report section, okay? uh that will be the liquidity issues total assets 5 million 550 45 timber plantation inventory not relevant so we got the uh one more that is damage to assets caused by storm from the last paragraph we did just that <clears throat> okay so damage to assets caused by storms. The recent storms have caused significant damage to companies' timber plantation asset. Unpredictable weather patterns could cause further harm or even totally destroy the companies. Companies uh, timber plantation, assuming that trees will be uh, replanted to replace the damage 
caused by the storm it can take many years for trees to grow to a harvestable size so the company faces a significant depletion of its future cash inflows for years to come right <clears throat> so uh, we are done with it eight marks so far now we have to look at the last of the business risk so for that okay uh, the information table below publishes as part of the annual report in a section key uh, key result for the year which forms part of the management commentary on the com his performance the financial information is being recognized the change in fair value of the timber plantation caused by the recent storm and also accounting for the government grant so we can see the revenue is being changed by 5.5% positive operating profit is also changed by 4.8% positive pbt 30% but percentage timber harvested in line with gold standard 82% just far uh, above the standard set number of employees has been reduced to 1300 total staff days lost due to accident is 78 you are also provided the following information related to the balances which are extracted from management accounts as at 30 june x5 total assets 550 uh, 5 million more than last year timber plantation is 500 million just 10 million more than last year this amount relating to the standing is standing time the okay inventory <clears throat> is 15.4 million for this year last year it was 9.2 the increased level of the inventory is explained by the management as follows in the last two months in this election at the country's parts mean no containers of proceed timber could be shipped to our export customers the miss export sales so for a month about 2.1 million we continue to harvest and process timber during this time leading to an increased level of inventory the industrial action is ongoing cash as you can see is reduced to 4.5 million cash level that depleted this year due to inflationary pressures and demand for higher wages from our employees which have been which have met okay now exhibit 5 is not relevant for this part let's move back and sorry just yeah liquidity okay liquidity the financial information provided that the company's liquidity position has deteriorated over the year the company has only 4.5 million of cash of 33.8% compared to the end 
of the last financial year while this has been explained as due to inflationary pressures management should be doing more to maintain a reasonable level of cash in order to properly manage its working capital inventory levels have increased significantly by 67.4% and while again uh, the reason while again the reason <clears throat> for the increase has been explained by management if the inventory of process timber cannot be shipped to customers in the near future working capital will continue to deteriorate the company may become unable to meet obligations as they fall due especially if the industrial action continues to restrict the possibility of export sales which account for 30% of the company's revenue that's it uh, for this part of the uh, scenario uh, part of the requirement i hope you get it um that's how you need to drop the uh, this part <clears throat> get the maximum box right uh maximum two marks per business risk and you get the 10 marks like this right uh now we will look at the audit risk next time